This letter here I get from uh, my buddy here uh, over in Wyoming. A lot of people didn't know there was any gold in Wyoming, but he says uh, here, he says, hi, George. That's my name. A lot of people call me Buzzard. That's my nickname. He said, uh, please forgive the paper, but it's all I'm using. I uh, have it here in my motor home. Thought you might enjoy seeing the gold I found on gopher number four. Uh, took me three days to find a spot that the old timers had worked. Now listen to this, that the old timers had worked. No gold in the creek's present position. No gold in the creek's present position. But now that I know what to look for, these places are plentiful and they didn't work them all out. The area the, didn't work all the areas out. Or maybe it got to be more work than it was worth. Sometimes it did, but I doubt it. I just started working upstream from where they stopped. I used a wire brush to scour the bedrock and then used my vac pack to pick up the gold and sand and gravel. Muddy Creek is well named and it rained every day last night. I had a speculation, a, a spectacular lightning storm. George, I met a fella from Cheyenne named Andrew or Andy, and he told me about the gopher claims on Muddy Creek. After talking with him, I dredged for a whole day and found only the smallest pieces and the black sand. Uh, didn't roast out very good either. Uh, some color, not much. So I went back to Douglas Creek to look him up, and I met a guy named Dale. Couldn't find Andy who mentioned that the old timers worked the benches up in the trees where the stream was a thousand years ago. Well, it was too crowded to work on Douglas Creek, so I went up again to try the high banking and bingo. Look what I found. I had next, uh, uh, too bad next day I had to leave, you know, that thing called work. He had to get back to work. And that's the guy from Wyoming. And ladies and gentlemen, look at what this guy found up here. Let me just turn that around. He's got a dime there. That's what you can do on your weekend sometimes when you get lucky. You can see what he went through here on the show. We talk about those high benches. We talk about creeks that don't have any gold in them in the present time. People go down with their gold pans. Sometimes they're disappointed. They get up in those benches and they find a lot of gold. This is on one of the claims that's open over there for the guys in Wyoming. And, the guy sent this letter in for us to share with other members, and boy, isn't that pretty when you find that gold. Now, he found some nice nuggets in here. He found a lot of flower gold, and uh, what is all of this color worth? Well, it's probably invaluable to this guy. He'll never sell it. Maybe he'll give those nuggets out on a bracelet someday, make them up on a bracelet and give them to somebody he loves. Most prospectors give away a lot of their gold because it's just so much muck after you find it. It's kind of like Robert Service said, there's gold and it's haunting and haunting. It's luring me on as of old, yet it isn't the goal so much that I'm wanting, but just finding the goal. Enough of my uh, jawing with you. Let's have that mining engineer come on. I know he's got some important things to tell you, and I want to tell you a little bit more about the guide, too, because places where you can go, because it's important that you get up and you get out there. It's a freedom. Exercise that freedom or we'll lose it, because there's a lot of people out there that don't know about these mining laws, don't know that you have an access, that you have a right. It's not. They're not giving away public land for $2.50 an acre. I guarantee you that. You'd almost be better off to buy 20 acres in downtown Dallas than you would to try to get 20 acres out here patented. I'll be glad to debate those guys anytime, anywhere, because it's not true. They're boneheads, and anybody that wants to change that is just going to take away the rights of the individual American to go out on public land, another way to disenfranchise you from the country of the government by the people. Instead of being the governed and having this heavy bureaucracy governing all of us and telling every one of us where to spit and where to move, you know, we are supposed to be the government of this country. It's a government by the people. <laughs>